G'day everyone. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of a colour and chat and a, and a first impression and just talk about how I feel about this community um, that is just such an amazing thing. So I have some happy mail here. So in the last week I have received um, some gifts from people for nothing other than just pure kindness and, um, and generosity, which honestly just it continues to blow me away so the first thing I received which I used in my live stream on Friday was the um, 20 luminance portrait set and the four extra pencils that come with it so now I just need to get the 76 that goes along with it but that will be something I will um, work towards in the in the coming months um, but it is, it, yeah, it, it's just incredible. And today I received two parcels from two very generous people um, as well. And it, yeah, so I got, these were on my um, wish list because I was curious about them. Um, they are from Windsor and Newton. It's a 48 piece um, set. And um, it was, I was, you know, Windsor and Newton is an, a reputable art supply brand and I thought I'd like to try these um, and so I grabbed them so that's what we're going to do a first impression on tonight and swatch them and so forth and then I also received um, another one of these Denise Collette um, Dreamland books so this is the fairies one so I figured I will colour in this um, tonight with these Windsor and Newton pencils and maybe bring in some of the Karen Dash if needed but what I'm going to do is we'll just open these up. I haven't even opened them. Um, I, I, yeah, it's just, um, I don't know. I, I, I struggle to receive things. Um, I, I'm, I'm definitely more of someone that likes to give rather than receive. So it, just the, the kindness and thoughtfulness of people is um, such an amazing thing. And I... Um, I certainly never asked for it, if that makes sense. So it come in plastic case. Um, it was just in a um, Amazon Prime bubble envelope. So it has a cardboard sleeve. So let's pull this off and have a look at what it says, if I can get it off. I've just done my nails, so I'm going to obviously ruin my nails by trying to do this. But that is okay. And it is oh, it's on there. All right. Oh, because it's got a bit of tape. That would probably be why it's, um, I was having trouble getting that off. Hold on. It's coming slowly. Oh, yeah. All right. So it got, has a cardboard sleeve and on the back it says soft, thick core color pencils, premium artist quality, uh, highly pigmented, brilliant colors, uh, rich lay down, color saturation, Excellent light fastness and yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Um, sorry, I just had some music playing in the background, but it's stopped for some reason. So I'm just going to try and figure out how to get something going in the background for those moments when I um, don't speak. Now I can't find the remote, you know. Try to do something and it still backfires on me. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go for this one. Let's see what this one does. Okay. So, yeah. So, I had a look. Because um, it says here it claims excellent light fastness. And I had a look on Windsor and Newton and Amazon and all of that kind of stuff. And it says that it conform the, the light fastness conforms to the ASTM standards, but there's nothing about it. And then I went to Harry at the Arc Gear Guide, as we all do when we want um, a real breakdown of stuff. And same thing that they don't, they're doing testing, but there's nothing actually set in stone about what their light fastness ratings are, which makes it difficult for if you're going to use this as colored pencil art 
Um, so if I do a coloured pencil drawing, I, I want to make it so it lasts. So I use coloured pencils that are considered, you know, and have been tested to be light fast. So having this not be fully determined to be light fast, apparently they're working on it, um, it make, makes it a bit hard. So it's kind of in the maybe pile. If um, something comes up that shows what their light fastness is, and I would imagine with Windsor and Newton that they would, you know, they understand light fastness and all of that with their paints and things. So I, I imagine that they have done some testing and, and such forth, but there is no actual documentation about it. So that makes it difficult to be confident in using it for that. Sorry, I'm just pulling off the plastic. So it comes in a silver tin. So there's 48 pencils. Silver tin, it's got the little Windsor and Newton on there. Um, seems like a fairly decent quality tin. And then we have two trays. So we've got two trays here of the different colours. So what I'm going, well, actually, no, we'll look at these before I sharpen them. And because uh, I'll go off and sharpen them so you don't have to watch me sharpen them. Um, although they've got a nice thing on it. And I know you're supposed to sharpen them before you swatch them. But I'm like, should we? We better. We better do it fairly. Okay. So the pencil. Let's have a look. It has got a light grey coating and about an inch of um, dipped end. The Windsor and Newton is in silver um, writing and then it's also got the name of it on there. There's nothing else on the pencil. So that is it. Let's have a look at it in compared to a polychromos. So they look fairly comparable in um, barrel size and probably maybe fairly similar in core size as well. If we look at a Prisma, I'm just pulling out a Prisma white because I've got it here. It is probably on the same as well. So it's around that average sized pencil. Okay, so I'm going to put those away. I'm going to go off and sharpen these and then I'll, we'll come back and we'll do some swatching. Okay, so we're back and I have sharpened them all. Now, none of them appeared to be off center, which was fantastic. So if we look at all of these, None of them appear to be off center. I'll show you the second tray. So there doesn't appear to be any of the cores that are not centered. Um, the, it does state that it's made from sustainable Californian wood and very soft. Like my sharpener cut through it um, like butter. It, I just use this iPoint Orbital battery operated one from Costco and this one here is the only one. Now, this isn't their fault. This was my fault. I didn't empty my sharpener, you know. One of the first rules, keep your sharpener empty. I'd let it get full and um, it snapped the pencil. So that is my fault. And of course, karma, irony, whatever you want to call it, Murphy's Law, is it would prob it's probably going to be my favourite colour. Looks like a blue-toned red which is what I love. So, and it's called lipstick red. Like seriously, it's, it was meant to be my um, colors. So let's get in and swatch them. Now they are um, said to be soft cord. So it says here that they are soft, thick core color pencils. So um, with that, we're assuming they are more of a wax based pencil so we've got yellow oh that was um that was me i just had skeddy for dinner so all right lime zest
they are soft they feel lovely um, going onto the paper okay sunflower they feel a lot like um, Christmas not quite as smushy if that makes sense but they've got that feel all right amber So at this point in time, they've only come out with, so the biggest set is a 48 set, which is what I have. Uh, we've got Apricot. I better check to make sure I put the colours in the right spot. I am renowned for not doing that. Um, there's a little bit of crumbling, but not anything too massive at this point. All right, orange. Orangey. Ooh, that's a nice orange. They honestly feel so nice going down. If you like the softer pencils, like the Prismacolors and stuff, I think you will like these. Honeycomb. Um, I am certainly looking forward to hopefully finding out what their true light and the fastness is. If anyone knows, if you heard something on the grapevine, let me know, please. Uh, Mandarin. All right, we've got red. That's a nice true red. Finding a nice true red um, is always a difficult thing in colored pencils. All right, lipstick red. Okay. Poppy. So we've kind of got like the true fire engine red with a bit of an orange, lipstick red with a bit of a blue, poppy with a bit of a pink. Let's have a look at carmine, which should be starting to get more into the true pink reds. Um, I think they are vegan as well for those um, that are concerned about that. Just because I'm seeing carmine here, I'm, but I do believe... I heard Harry say that they are vegan based, so they don't use animal products. So that was rose pink. Right, antique pink. Ooh, that's a nice colour. Pastel pink. This would be George's colour. Soft peach, so these would probably be more of our skin tone colours or our light Caucasian skin tone colours. Then we've got Dusty Rose. Magenta. There's something nice and relaxing just about swatching pencils. It's like, yep. Plum. Ooh, that's pretty. Purple. So, so far it seems like there's a good balance of like, you know, with a 48 set, you're limited within, obviously, the range. So now we're getting into the violet, so the blue-purple. Um, <coughs> limited in the amount that you can do. All right, midnight blue. Let's see what this baby looks like. Ooh, that's nice. Nice shadow colour. Um, about what you can actually put into a 48 cent set to make it well-rounded. Royal blue. Oh, Casper, life is hard. I don't know if you heard Casper sigh in the background there. Life is tough for the puppy dog. Okay, let's get rid of that tray. Let's go keep going. True blue. Ooh, true blue. Is it me or you? Sorry. Is it mom or dad? 
Or is that a cockatoo? Sorry, that song is in my head now. <sighs> All right. French Navy. That's nice. China Blue. So looking here too, we've got some of some lighter tones as well, which is always good. Um, trying to find that balance between light, mid and, and deeper tones so that we can have some variation. All right, Asia. Went to a school, school with a girl named Asia. I was always jealous of her name. It was such a cool name. All right, duck egg, so Tiffany blue. And I haven't broken a tip. So this is touch wood. You'll probably break one now, Murphy's Law. But you know me. So these are soft pencils, but I haven't broken a tip at this point. So, hmm, green, take that as you may. Oh, these are, these feel nice. Um, grass. I like, I mean, I work with hard and soft pencils, but I like a soft pencil. Lush green. Ooh, that looks like um, bowling ten. What's it? No, what? What's the bowling where your lawn bowls kind of green? I knew what I was trying to say. Olive green. But they definitely feel like a wax based pencil. Caramel. Terracotta Burnt Sienna Umber And shale. Now this is warm grey five, which is definitely warm. Like that, that to me feels more like a sepia. Um, warm grey four. See, now that's more feeling more into the greys. That's, that's definitely got a lot of brown in it. Ice grey three. That's a nice colour. Nice cloud colour. Ice grey two. So this one's definitely got a lot more blue in it. We've got cool grey five. Cool grey four. And black. Ooh, that's a nice black. Okay. So it gives you a bit of an idea there of um, the colours that we have. Um, they lay down lovely. I'm going to just get a bit of piece of black paper out. And we'll just, you know, just out of curiosity, let's put it on a bit of black. A couple of colours. So let's do a yellow. So I'm going to do sunflower. Just so we can 
Pepsi. Let's do red. Might do that red. Um, let's do violet. So you can see this one's a little bit more translucent, but these two seem very opaque. Let's go for Asia. See, there's a little bit of crumbling, but I'm pressing hard, obviously, just to show up the colour. Um, green. And of course, let's test the white. Let's see how she goes. Okay, so there's the white and I will just for comparison, run the Prisma white beside it. Two layers of that. It's just so you can see there, you can obviously see it's less opaque than the Prisma white, but Prism white, we know, is that high standard in opaqueness. Okay, so that's the black. All right. So, let's put these swatches away. I think, you know, there's a good balance there. Maybe a few more greens would have been nice. That's probably about what I feel is lacking there. I could have done with one less orange and throw in another green. Um, would have been good. Okay. So let's have a look. We're going to, I'm going to be using this book, but just for test sake, I'm going to go into here. Oh, when you first crack open a book. Um, so this is the Fairies in Dreamland, which is same as uh, um, gnomes in the neighborhood. So lots of cute little images, but we're going to go in here. I'm going to pick a blue. Um, let's try and pick, mm, what blue do I want? What blue do I usually use? I'm going to keep picking this Asia because I just like it. All right, got that. And we'll go for a yellow. We'll go for yellow. And we will do a quick blend test just to see how we go. Okay. So I'm using light layers here. So it's still layering quite well. And we are definitely getting a green being produced by the two being blended together. So that shows that they are able to blend together. Everyone seems to want to know these days um, and I'm actually planning on using watercolour on the page, so it's probably a good thing if I know. Let's test. Okay, so there's no movement with water. So that is good to know. Okay. right -o. So what we're going to do is I am going to be doing just a quick little page. Because um, so we don't want to be here all night, but I'm going to do this one. So it seemed like a nice little quick page to do um, and watch and um, we will get into it. Okay, so um, there's been a drama. <laughs> you know how I was in the last little bit I said I'm going to go in and I'm going to colour in this Fairies in Dreamland? Well, I did that, but apparently hitting record is important. So here it is, um, all done. And 
this is just um, some guns I tapi in the in the back, Kurotaki. So, uh, yeah, and it's got poor prints on it because it was wet and Winchester walked over it. But anyway, I did film it. Well, I thought I was filming it, but I didn't. What you did, I did by the time I realised it, I had done this little bit here. So I'm going to tag, like, just throw it on the end of this video if you want to watch it. Go ahead. But in all honesty, it kind of didn't work. But then I was like, oh, I was just going to do it and not worry about the filming part of it and all of that. But I'm like, I really, you know, spoiler alert, I really like these pencils. So I figured I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to go into Gnomes in the Neighbourhood and I'm going to colour along with you with this one. I've done some of the flowers just so we're not here all day and hopefully am actually filming, you know. So I figured we will do this and, um, and uh, yeah, and have so you can actually see these pencils in use. So let's get into it. Now, up here in the corner, I don't know if you can see it, I have this um, pencil holder that comes from, um, if you're not subscribed to My Colouring Corner with Renee, her, they do 3D printing, and um, it holds, I don't know, about 130 pencils, whatever it is. But it is awesome when I am um, in the middle of works in progress. So this is all of my polys that I'm working on. A, they're still working on that um, Jane F. Hanks, Hankins... Butterfly hat. So that's all the colours I'm using for that. So I can just keep them there. And then I also have now the ones that I've done in this flower. So that they're kind of like there. It holds, you know, Prisma Poly kind of size pencils. Like the big fatter pencils it doesn't hold. But I absolutely love it. Best thing. So I'm going to get in and do this. And um, yeah. So it's kind of like, ugh, frustrations. Frustrations. I'm going in with umber just to add a bit of a brown tone to these stalks. Nothing, not nothing too serious. And I'm going to go in with I want olive green. We're coming in with that. Now, I don't even remember what I said in the videos last night, what I said in the end little bit of the video. So I might repeat myself like a thousand times because I've forgotten what I even discussed. I'm going to go in with brass. So it's, uh, yeah, so I think I had, I don't think I talked about price. So, well, I think I was talking about price in the, the video I was filming, but wasn't filming, you know. Okay, so in Australia, get ready for this. All right, so yeah, I can, we can get it in Australia. I can get, if you've got Amazon Prime, you can get it, I think, for $55 from, off Amazon Prime, um, imported from the US. Awesome. Decent price, 48 pencils, really nice. However, if you are in, here in Australia, and you go to Officeworks, because Officeworks sells these, um, I'm going to go in with green. Um, Officeworks sells these uh, for $150. And so uh, are a couple of other art supplies stores. So um, I recommend getting them from the States, even if you have to pay, uh, what's it called? Post shipping. It's still going to be cheaper than getting it from, um, from anywhere here in Australia, Like, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like the idea that, like, I, I get that it, it's a little bit more and stuff, but a $100 difference, like, that is just insane. I'm going in with Lush Green. Um, absolutely ridiculous that there is that much extra added on to it. Uh, and they wonder why people are doing things like Amazon. You, you just... Like, I'm, I'm always about, if I can, I'll try and shop local, but not for that kind of price. Um, all right, I'm going to go in, no, I'm going to go back in with green. But I'm just doing strokes just to, you know, kind of get some, like, you know, variegation in the leaves. 
kind of thing. And then I'm going to go in with grass. Now I've colored the other picture and this picture and I think I've sharpened one pencil. So they are just a pleasure to work with. They lay down like Prisma. Um, they've got that real feel, easy to blend, but hold their point and they don't break. Um, like I still haven't broken a tip. Like it's, it's crazy. I did a whole picture without breaking a tip and I'm like whoa who is this person that is not breaking tips okay I'm going to go in with warm gray five and just come along where I think there might be some shadowing oh sorry not warm gray five cool gray five I'm using cool gray because it's a cool color sorry green's cool um so <clears throat> Just coming in there, just to kind of where I think it might be. Then I'm going to use the Caran d'Ache blender. Um, I don't really love this blender, but I have. This is the first time I've used it on smooth paper because I usually use a toothier paper, and this is much smoother, um, thick cards. Well, not quite cardstock, but it's thick paper, um, and it works much better on the smooth paper. So I'm like, maybe there is a place for blender in my life. Um, well, I've got two of them so I might as well use them. All right, so that is that. Okay, now let's get on to the flowers. I'm going to do the top part first and I'm going to actually probably sharpen for the first time. Okay, I'm going to go in with lime zest. I'm going to lay that just roughly, because this is my base layer. This isn't meant to be the um, final part. So I'm not too worried about it being perfect. And they blend so easily into each other, it really doesn't matter. Um, but I just... Like, sometimes you just get a pencil and you're like, yes. This, is, this, is, this works for me. And um, this is how I feel about these. I just, well, 48 colors is more than enough. Like, and they, they blend together lovely. And you can make every other color. I want more. I want more colors. I want more of them in my life. It's like, give me all the colors. You know? 96, 120. 150. Give them to me all. I want them. I just, I'm hoping that they come out with something or someone knows something about more of the light fastness because I would love to use these in like my colored pencil drawings. <laughs> I say that like I actually do them very often. I really need to do them more often. Um, drawing would be a good thing for me to actually do. So I'm going to, there's no edge on that, but I don't like the fact that there's no edge on that. That's not consistent. So I'm going to pretend there is one. And actually what I'm going to do is, where is my fine liner? Look at this. There we go. Got an edge. Okay. So that was lime zest. I need to come in with yellow and oh, they sharpen so nicely too. You can tell it's good quality wood. All right, we're going to come in with yellow. And I'm kind of, I'm not worrying about being perfect on the end because I want to have that kind of like variegated petal look of like with the, the veins kind of coming through the petals subtly. Um, but that's that was kind of the look that I wanted. So because of that, I'm doing long strokes. And hoping for the best. Oh, 
So yeah, so it's um another page that I'm getting done. Woo! At least it's kind of made me do this, and I'm doing this as a buddy color um, with Ashley and Angie. So we've all got these books. So we Ashley picked this page. So it's a buddy color at the same time. So I'm doing a buddy color and refilming a video. But that is okay. Oh, oh, I've got to tell you, I love LD. I just, I just got to say that. So I went, just went into LD, picked the girls up from school, and I went into LD to just get some, you know, stir fry stuff for dinner tonight. So we're going to have some stir fry. And I have been looking for a decent cutter, like, you know, sh sh guillotine, you know, roller cutter thingy. For ages because I've got a dodgy one down here. Where is my dodgy one? Um, where are you? Yeah, I've got oh, oh. now stuff going flying. So I've got this dodgy one, which is all good to just do a quick page, but <sighs> stupid. And I've got blades to replace it and stuff, but it doesn't have any measurements, and I can't do like a 12 by 12. And um, I've been looking and um. I haven't been able to find one for a decent price unless I want to, wanted to pay like, you know, huge money. And I'm like, ugh. And then I go in Aldi today, wandering around, and lo and behold, they've got one. And they've got one that is a guillotine choppy choppy one. So And it's a, it's a 30 centimetre, so 12 inch by 12 inch. Oh, so now I'm going in, I'll sharpen it, I'm going in with sunflower. Probably should remember that I'm actually telling you what I'm doing. So I'm going in with the sunflower now, and I'm just not going to come quite up as high. So basically, just getting a, a fade of these petals. Um, so yeah, I walk into Aldi, and lo and behold, I've got one there. And this is even better. 30 bucks, all right? So $30. It's a 30 by 30, which is what I wanted. And it has a guillotine chopper, as well as a roller cut chopper. That's got three three different modes. So it's got straight cut, wavy cut, and perforated cut. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, so I'm a little bit excited by that. Um, little things. And and um, I get home and I'm like, oh, like I'm like, oh, it does this because I didn't really look. I just went, oh, I've been looking for one of them. That's a price. That's a great price. I'm getting it. I got home and I'm like, oh, it does this and it does this. And um, I did get told, oh, my God, you are old. And I'm like, yes, yes, I'm old. I'm getting excited over a paper cup, paper cup. I'm like, that's okay. That's my right. But, yeah, so that was a little bit of fun tripping to LD. I'm getting my paper cup trimmer. And I got some erasable pens for the girls. So much cheaper there than the um, ones at Officeworks. So I was like, yeah, get them too. Awesome. All right, now I'm going to go in with, oh, no, I did sunflower. I'm going to go back in with yellow and come back out to that, that like, the second line that I was doing. Just going over where I'd gone down with sunflower. I like that the fact that the names of these are just simple like they while it's always fun to have fancy names um these are just simple names they didn't really think too hard out of the box with these um All right, and then back in with lime zest. Really like this color.
It might be a little bit like the yellow citrus from Prisma. And, um, it's just a nice colour. Just like gives it gives everything a pop in your face. And I want these flowers to be bright. She looks like she's having well, I don't know. I don't know whether she's enjoying herself or not enjoying herself. She kind of looks like she's yoga meditating on it. No. But yes, LD is a dangerous store. Because I go in for, you know, meat and veggie stir fry and walk out with stuff I... Probably, you know, let's get real. Really don't need. I shouldn't, shouldn't go. But that's okay. Oh, God. Outside the line. I'm going to put that over here for you. It raises quite nicely. Now I'm going to go in with Amber. And come in here. I sit there some days and think what would it, would it be nice to just I, I'm one of those people that can't like the whole yoga meditation thing it just doesn't work for me I wish it would but my brain just does not switch off I've tried the whole imagine you're a sand falling into the thing and trying to focus the hardest one like I, it, it is so hard I, I cannot do it is trying to imagine that there is a blank piece of white paper. So that sounds fairly easy, doesn't it? Like just try and imagine a blank piece of white paper. Uh, no, it's not easy. I'm going in with orange. I cannot keep that piece of paper blank and not moving for the life of me. Um, it, 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 just, it just doesn't stay there. It's like it starts filling up with this or it starts spinning around or it starts changing colours or whatever it does. But I'm like, I can't get... Just a blank piece of white paper. Um, my sister-in-law can meditate so well, and I'm like, I wish I could do that. All right, I'm going in with mandarin. I'm just putting that down, right down here. Yeah, I watch her go out and she just zones out for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, 10, 20 minutes. And I'm like, ah, oh, if you ever just switch off. But this is my kind of meditation. Like, normally if I'm not sitting here trying to talk to someone, I kind of just go into, I'm going back in with the orange. I kind of go into my own little zone land. Um... This is, you know, we've all got to find our own strategies that kind of work to allow us to kind of half switch off our brain from thinking about random stuff it shouldn't be thinking about. And now I'm going to go back in with Amber. Now 
and I'm just rolling the pencil around at different times to kind of keep the point on it. And I find that's working really well. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to come in with red and let's start going around some of the edges of this round and these petals. Obviously this flower doesn't exist in real life. It's it's we're in gnome land. I'm I'm having whatever flower I want. So I've got rainbow flower. So now I'm quite keep freaking out that <laughs> it's not recording. I'm just going back over those areas that I want to be a red, 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 red. And I'm just changing the pressure too, depending on what I want to do. So at the moment, I want just that intense red color. So I'm putting a little bit more pressure on the pencil. But as I come out and I know I'm going to blend it into something else, I ease off on the pressure. And um, that lightens the impact of the red. So having a pencil that can do both of that is good. Next, I was curious about these because not many people have talked about them. Um, it's not one I've seen buzzing around the interwebs very often. Um, and I think we get caught up in the whole, we need to have like the big sets and, um, sometimes we don't, even though we want them. All right. I'm going to come back in with orange. So I've basically gone obviously for a warm petal and a, a cool under petal. So using the warm and cool colours. I don't know, I just wanted to use this, lots of different colours from the set to just show you them in action. Which is what I did with the other one that I filmed too. But you know, it um it will forever live in non-filmed land. That's okay. And by rotating and keeping the tip on your pencil, it helps like fill in the tooth of the paper a lot easier, um, which is always a nice thing. So 
So it's only two more weeks until the girls go on we school holidays. Which is kind of crazy to think about. All right, I'm going to come in with these ones. I'm going to use a warm grey. I'm going to use warm grey four. Um, it's a little bit lighter than warm grey five. Then I'm just going to use that to um, put the shadows down. And I'm using a warm grey on this one because I'm using warm colours. So if I'm using cool colours, I'll use a cool grey for the shadow. If I'm using warm colours, uh, if I can, I use a warm, a warm grey. Um, Now, cool grey has um, like blue undertones to it and a warm grey has uh, yellow orange undertones to it depending on the intensity of the warmth so it just seems to work with the colors a little bit better All right. some people have the thing of you know warm is for living and cool is for non-living but it, I think it's more about the undertones that you're after all right so that is there so I'm going to come in with the blender and I think I had a little bit of a crumb there. Oh, I forgot this little bit of the leaf. Hold on, I'm just going to the petal. I'm just going to do that. This blender is smudging a little bit of the black lines a bit, but it works with the petal. It's no big drama. You can see that with using the blender pencil, blah, 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 you know, English, using the blender pencil, it blends in nicely that way as well. I could have gone over with another layer and really smoothed it out, but so that you're not here for five million years, it's just easier to do it this way. Um, all right. I've got a brush there and I'm still using my hands. <clears throat> Evelyn will be killing me. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go in with red and I'm just going to put some random little dots there just to, just because. Now 
Now I'm not hitting, like I'm not like forcing this down onto the, the um, I'm just kind of gently tapping it. All right, and then I'm going to quickly go over with the blender again, just to kind of smush them in. Make them seem as one with the petal. There we go. All right, let's get on to the petals underneath. So these are going to be our cooler petals. First color I'm going to go in is a duck egg. Every time of this I do this, I think of my goddaughter. I'm going to use this color, Tiffany Blue. So again, I'm just putting a light coloured light layer down to begin with. It's just something I, like, I generally always like to put a light layer down before I go in with anything else. Um, I just find it makes it easier for the pencils to work on. Alright, quick bit of duck egg. Hey, now I'm going to go in with Asia. Don't know if I told, see I don't even remember what I've talked about, but Asia. Called Asia in high school. I was always jealous of her name because it's such the coolest name. Asia. Love it. Now I got stuck with Tammy. 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 Mind you, I love hearing my name said in like a Southern American accent. It's like the coolest thing. Tammy. Tammy. But, <clears throat> yeah. But she, her name was Asia and she has a cool cheek too. I think, like, you know, long time ago, but I think she was Maori. Um, she was, she was pretty cool. She wasn't at my school for long. I don't know whatever happened to her. I don't know. One of those things. It's kind of amazing who you keep in touch with and who you don't. Like, she wasn't in my friend group either like she was way too cool for me <laughs> i was a geek um i was a nerd she was like sporty and cool and all of that kind of stuff oh. all right <laughs> that is that one now i'm going to go in with true blue true blue is it me or you? Is it mum or dad? Is it a cockatoo? Sorry, that was really bad. Uh, I apologise for my woeful singing. <clears throat> but you can't say True Blue without that song coming into your head if you're Australian. It's an iconic Australian song. Because we're tree blue Aussies down here. Down under. Tree blue. I don't know if you're hearing the kids. I've got the door closed, but obviously they're playing Roblox or um, what's the other one they play? Among Us. Arguing. That's that's the only arguments I get from them. It's, they don't actually argue with each other. They just argue when they're playing 
on the laptops or the devices. All right, going back in with Asia. Asia. <laughs> Sorry, I can. I don't know if you can hear him, but I'm just listening to them. Oh, I don't know what I did here with the lines, but anyway. Should be right. I don't take my colouring like too seriously. Okay. And then we'll go back in with duck egg. Duck 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 duck. Well we might have some ducks in the yard later. Um I think the storm's rolling over. Well we got some thunder before. No, I just looked outside. No, it's not, it's cleared up. We've got a brief moment of thunder. And enough to send Casper crawling under the bed, and then it's moved on. So I have that <clears throat> this payday today, and I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to decide, do I get more Copics <laughs> and some refills? I need to finish up my light fast. I've only got, I think I've only got about eight pencils left in the light fast that I need to get. Like, do I put in an order? All right, so that's that. Then I'm going to come in with Magenta. Oh, wait up, I need to do this one. Oh, always miss one. Casper sign in the background because life is so hard for him. <clears throat> I have no idea where that cut off. No. <laughs> Sounds like my life. But I was just saying, <clears throat> this reminds me, these flowers remind me of a raw rusket from the 80s. Um, and I'm using magenta. And then I'm going to come in with purple. Um, <clears throat> I had a rainbow rara skirt when I was a kid. Well, I would have been, yeah, I would have been in primary school, I think. Yeah, in the 80s, I was in primary school. Um, and so I had a rainbow rara skirt and I had made my mum make me a blue satin bubble skirt. And I loved those skirts. I always felt fancy when I was wearing them. I felt cool and fancy. And and the fluoro rolled socks that were um, alternate. Yeah. I was such a nerd. <laughs> ah, 
I couldn't be cool if I tried. But that's okay. You know what? Everyone has to be. I like, I like my geekiness. Um, it works for me. So does anyone have this these um Denise Collette books? Because honestly, they're just so damn cute. Um, if you want to see flip throughs of them, Ashley has them, Ashley Colours has them on her um YouTube channel. Um and she's got because I think there's the gnomes, the fairies, and the mermaids. So she's got a flip through of them. Um and they're just such a cute book. They're just like you you want to make them bright and and fun. Alright, he's gonna come in now back in with the magenta. Okay. Sharpen that. So what was the kind of <clears throat> fashion that you did when you were younger and now you sit back and go, oh, my God, I can't believe I thought that was cool. Like at the moment, I don't know how it's happened, but mullets have come back into fashion and I'm just like, I look around and just go, oh, my God, they should have stayed in the 80s where they belonged and never seen the light of day again. So the mullet's back in fashion. But I'm finding that there's a real turn at the moment with the, the style of clothes towards the 90s. Like, I, can, I walk into the stores and, and the things that, like, the girls are picking up, I'm like, I owned that. Um, and it's kind of really weird, like, real, like, florally, flowy things. And, and then you've got the band shirts and the denim. And I'm like, I still, I never grew out of that. That's, that's my style. T-shirts and denim jeans. But um, I do. I just look at it and just go, oh, my God. It's like, I'm sure I owned that. All right. Now, because this is a cooler color, I'm coming in with cool gray four. And I'm going to use that to put in some indications and some shadows. All right, uh, let's come back in with the blender. Just giving that a bit of a sharpen. And let's start.
Something satisfying just about blending. Zoning out to the music. Alrighty, there we go. We have a flower. So all we've got, oh no, I'm going to do this little bit. And then all we've got left to do is the noom. Okay, so I'm going to come in with green. Then I'm going to come in with lush green. No, it wasn't lush green. Ah, oh, I don't even know what colours I used. I used the wrong colour. Oh, that's all right. We'll just pretend. <clears throat> I'm going to come in with olive green. Oh, Casper. Life's so hard. Oh, I know. Okay, I'm going to come back over with grass. Now I'm going to come in with caramel. in between and then umber just in different spots so it kind of looks like little seed potty things coming out of the center and then finally in with warm gray five And then I'm going to run all over the top of it with lime zest. Because I kind of imagine she's out there basking in the sun rays. So I want to put that little bit of a yellow glow on it all. And use that to smush it together. Okay, now we've got a flower done. So that's the flower and now we've just got the gnome left to do. Okay, so we're back and we're going to finish off our gnome. And it's been... Oh! That, that was no good. Drop that. Okay. So we're back and we're going to finish off the gnome of this picture. And we're going to get straight into it. And we might go in with skin first because I still haven't decided what I am going to do for the, um, what am I calling it? Leotard. Brain. Needs to function. I've had dinner. I had, we had chicken and cashews. Stir fry. So... All right, which soft peach is what I'm going in with. Which started the discussion then of what was your favourite nut? So we we're just talking about favourite nuts. Mine would be cashews, macadamia and pistachios. But I was like, I wonder what your favourite nuts are. Or whether you can, or you might even be allergic to them, so you don't know. Um... But I tend to like them all. I'm, I'm not averse to any of them. A good pecan pie, walnuts. I used to love Christmas time when we'd 
go out to my grandpa the shed and he had the vice and we would um, um, crack the nuts at Christmas time because it was so much cheaper to buy than still in the shell. So that's what we got. Now she's got her eyes closed. She's in full Zen mode. So, all right, so we've come in with a little bit of light peach. Then I think I'm going to come in with terracotta, um, which I've got to find. Terracotta. So let's come in with that. So I'm just trying to give some shape. I mean, we're not going for realism here. We're, we've got a gnome on top of the flower. But just some basic shading. So that's that. And then I'm going to come in with warm grey five. I'm just going to do a bit of a tip on that. And do a bit of more shading in there. And then we'll come back with soft peach. So I'm working in circles here because I want it to be quite smooth. So I don't want obviously lines and all the show. What we might do is try the white and see how that goes with blending. You can see there that it's allowing it to blend together. Okay, all right, let's have a look at, I, I just want her dress, her top to be kind of like, so we're gonna, I'm going to use turquoise, we haven't used that colour yet, I'm going to try and use some colours we haven't used, so let's come in with turquoise. impressed with the balance here I'd be top one over I no longer have the knee strength 
have the ability, but not the knee strength to do this. Um, runs in our family and we don't have good knees. I have um, hyperflex, it's called ligaments laxative, but hyper um, mobility in my joints and stuff so I can move things around pretty easily, but and I've all of that and I've got a good sense of balance, but I just don't have the strength in my knees now and to maintain it. The joys. And it's, it's not really an age. Well, it is. It gets worse as I get older. But it's I've had bad knees since I was a kid. I remember um, being diagnosed with um, some knee problems in primary school. And they told me I couldn't play sport for a whole year. I was, like, so disappointed by that knot. Because, again, we've, we've established I was a bit of a nerd, a bit of a geek. Sport was definitely not my... Not where my interest laid. So, oh shame, didn't have to do sport. I was like, oh, I sad by that. Okay, so this is a cool colour. So we're going to come in with cool grey four. And just put a little bit of shading. It's got quite an impressive bosom. Right, we'll come back in now and just go over again with this turquoise just to fill it in. I'm not doing anything fancy, it's just a block colouring. My mum used to be an aerobics instructor when I was younger. So, and that was obviously during the 80s and stuff, so Many, many leotards were worn back in those days. I think I'll. Mum got a plaque for doing like 20 years of aerobic instructor at one stage. Alright, I'm coming back in with that cool grey. Just going to take it underneath her chin. Alright. Okay, so let's think about flowers. What's a colour I haven't used? I have not. Let's go in. We haven't used pinks. So let's go in with Rose pink and antique pink. Right, I'm just going to go in with the rose pink. I'm just using this again. I'll put this base colour down. And then we will come back. I'm going to use this is antique pink. Oops. Take some lines out. like this part because it's so tiny I'm actually concentrating and um, 
Otherwise, I'm going to go outside the lines pretty quickly. Well, since that's about these ones, so I'll put some lines in there. Come back to them later. Let's come back in with that rose pink. You can just hear my girls in the background there. I might get them to close the door. Georgia, can you close my door, please? Just so you don't hear them giggling. Okay. <clears throat> now, what other colour haven't I used? Let's go for... Oh... Let's go for... Plum around the outside. And then a little bit of, let's go, honeycomb into some piece. So I think that's calling for her shoes to be... Some kind of plummy colour. So let's go in with plum. Got to match these things, you know. Well, I'm like trying to figure out. Anyway how this foot's going, but she's obviously got even more hyperflexibility than me because that just looks in all ways, shapes or form wrong. But anyway, let's go in with Midnight Blue. in some areas of shading and we'll come back over with that plum I'm just going to use the blender pencil. Just 
to smush these all together. All right, let's go back to the rose pink. Antique pink. Back with rose pink. Use turquoise in the leaves. It's got a match. It's and I might come in with some lush green. Alrighty, <clears throat> so let's do her hair. So I'm going to come in with caramel. Um, I'm not too worried about this being sharp because I'm going to use this as the underlayer. So even when I'm doing hair, I still generally like to do this underlayer. Um, it's just, I don't know, something I've always found helpful, beneficial. Um, oh, does, is that hair? What am I going to make it as? There we go. Lovely. Alright, now I'm going to come in with, I think... Umber. I'm going to put a tip back on that. Click a few bits through. Does that and then we will use warm grey five. I don't think I used ombre over here, so I'm just going to go back over here. Obviously, missed that bit. 
and then and there's the long grey and then back over with the caramel let's do it around her face Like, this is actually probably fairly close to my natural hair colour. Golden dark blonde. Well, was my natural hair colour. Who knows what it is now. A whole lot of greys coming through. Right. Okay. Come in with olive green. And then grass. I'm just going to put a tip on that because we're in a small area. and let's go crazy okay these ones I'm going to keep as pink because I don't want to think too much thank you Come in with the antique pink. pink because I wish you know I would assume well let's make a note assumptions but I would think that she would try to match her hat and her shoes and her outfit all together she looks quite well do well to put together well to do lady all right Plum. And then some honeycomb. Okay, let's have a look next. I think we're going to go for some apricot. Oh, I forgot this flower down here. Okay. Oh, miss that flower. All these fiddly bits.
Okay, so back to apricot. Mm, Casted bark and a butterflies. Well, it's night time, so not really butterflies. Probably Kermit. We have a frog that lives on our deck. So we have named him very originally Kermit. And sometimes on the other deck, our back stairs, we have another frog. So she's called Miss Piggy. I know. They're super original in this house. Okay, so I'm going to come in with Poppy. I'm just... not going to be able to get anything major detailed, but you want to give it some kind of dimension I love these apricot blush roses, um, they're very pretty in real life, not these ones. Um, They're so tiny. I don't know. But then I don't remember whether I have done them or don't haven't done them. I'm just like, oh well, I'll do them again. Okay. Let's think about these little berries. And I'm gonna go for a little bit of French navy. I don't know if they're berries, but I'm going to make them as such. And a little bit of China blue. Okay, let's come in with some green. I'm just going to fill any kind of gaps that I can see with some green. And then a little bit of grass. She's nearly done. Then I'm going to come in with that lime zest. I'm just going to and 
Alrighty, and then we've just got this little one left. Okay. I'm going to go in with lime zest. And because we haven't used it, let's go in with some carmine. back over with that lime zest and I'm going to use that carmine all righty there we go so we've got it all done oh wait up up here hold on I'm just so I will tag on to the end of this video um, the little bit that I of the fairies in Dreamland that I did, just if you want to see that. But I hope you can kind of see that these are a nice alternative to the Prismacolors. I have not broken a tip, and for me, that is um, quite an achievement, I think. Um, but I think she's just pretty. She's just bright and fun, and a, and a little bit of... Um, bit of humor that goes in with all of it um, I'm just while I'm talking to you I'm, I'm just you know adding some yellow because she's out in the Sun just in different spots that might be picking up a little bit of it um, but yeah so thank you very much um, and hopefully we will see you again soon and um if you keep watching great if not i'll see you next time of course <laughs> i've been doing all of this and realized i haven't been filming um <laughs> i thought i'd press play uh record and i hadn't so you're going to get the last little bit of me coloring in this and um observe the rest and have a bit of a <laughs> look but i can give you my my feedback as um I, I do that. I can't believe that. I should have checked. I always kind of double check that it's working and I didn't and lo and behold it's um didn't record which is fantastic. Hopefully it's recording now. Um, so we might as well talk about these pencils while I just colour in the rest because it can't be a colour along because I didn't record it. These pencils are really nice. They work very much like Prismas. Um, they um, lay down in a very similar way without the breakage or the crumbliness. Um, I only had minor crumble issues and um, I haven't broken any tips. So for me, that is uh, quite quite impressive um, I'm going to come in with lush green for that one I don't know why I'm telling you the colors because you can't color along with me because I didn't record it oh, it's frustrating when you you get come back from and you look and you're like oh my god are you serious I've been I've been coloring this for an over an hour and trying to come up with things to talk about <laughs> and it wasn't recording so the basic things I talked about was obviously this community um, and just the kindness and amazingness that is here um, in this place and the joy it brings me. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy watching these, these videos along with me. Um, I'm going to come in with Poppy and I'm going to do these little um berries so yeah so that's disappointing that you didn't watch all of this they blend together the same way as prismas do so you can layer them and you can smush them which is for me the perfect perfect mix 
All right, let's go in with uh, um, some lime zest. Um, definitely the perfect kind of mix for me. All right, hold on, I'm just going back in with green. I think it's a leaf. And I think there's more berries there. You're probably going to get... Well, at least you don't see me to see the top of my head as much as you have. Because me trying to see this has just been, like, hilarious. Because it's so tiny. Oh. Lime zest. It's come in with amber. But, um, so if you find the prismas too soft, but you like the softness, I think you would really like these. Um, I really like them, um, which is awesome. Okay, I'm going to put some kind of thing down there. What would her ruffle be? Um, I'm going to come in with... Royal blue. Yeah. Yeah. Royal blue. Bit of violet. And then in with China Blue. Um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that I was actually trying to do like a full colour and chat with this image. Um, a bit sad that it didn't work out that way. All right, note yourself next time, double check. I'm like triple checking now to make sure it's working. I think it's working, who knows. All right, so there's that. <clears throat> All right, let's do the hair. I'm going to come in with caramel. All right. I'm going to come in with umber. Just going to put a tip on this. There's that, and then I'm going to come in with, I'm just going to put a tip on this and come in with that warm grey vibe. And then back in with that caramel. Okay, and then we might put, hmm. What do we want our hair tie to be? Let's go in with Asian. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to come in with ice grey uh, three. And I'm just going to 
lay down the lightest layer on her wings for now just as an undercoat That's there. Now I'm going to come in with duck egg. I'm just going to kind of just place it in random spots. And let's go for soft peach. Little bit of lime zest. bit of um, China blue Um, a little bit of green. And a little bit of apricots. Now I'm going to come over it with the white and run a layer of that over. Now I'm going to come along and see how this works. She's the Caran Blender. Put a little bit of sharp pen in her eyes and on her lips. Just 
just done a couple of these brow petals. You can tell it's quite waxy in the fact that the gel pen um, slides over it a little bit. So. There we go. All right, so that is it finished with the pencil. I wish, <laughs> I just wish it had filmed, um, but it gives you a bit of an idea of um, the pencils. I'm gonna go back over this with white a little bit more because I want to. Um. motion it together which it has the capability of doing okay okay that is it um i may put a background in i may not but that is the winsor and newton pencils um honestly i really like them i wish there was more and i had a huge set of them because i think they're a firmer version of prisma but work just like a prisma color does um, I, I can't wait to hear about their light fastness. But um, I definitely would um, not enable you in any way, shape, form, because we don't do that here. Um, but they are really lovely pencil, and I'm glad I was sent them. Um, so, again, thank you. Just thank you to the community and the people in it for all of the, just everything that you do and the... The impact that you have without you realizing it on people. Um, I hope you enjoyed my very small amount of actual coloring and but had a look at a bit of the swatching and the the review part of it at the start. I know that filmed so at least that worked and um, I will catch you on down the track. I will use be using these pencils again. They are lovely. Okay and I will see you then. As always remember be kind, be strong and be a warrior. See you later. Bye.